What's up, people? Breezy back. I'm gonna talk about relationship problems today, man. Like, a lot of people out here is getting cuffing with girls, you know, getting married, getting girls pregnant, and shit like that. But, I'm gonna tell you, I like it is. Oh, shit. Oh, they can So, me, as a young African man, I'm 17 now, and. I, I freaking like, I used to, I date a lot of females, I date, you know, and now I'm single because I fucked up a relationship, I've been trying to get back in a relationship, but I think it's God telling me don't get in a relationship right now, or wait it out because someone special is on their way, and I feel that in my heart that I'm about to have, be with someone special, but that's what I'm saying. Um, how can I put it? A girl, this one girl that was very close hearted to me, me and her known each other ever since I moved back to Jayville. We started talking. We hit her out the spot, right? When I moved and left, I dated, I started dating her because I was like, okay, I want to be with someone that I know. And what happened was, I got jealous. Jealousy, now rule number one. Jealousy is a killer in relationships. That's one that will kill your relationship in a fucking heartbeat. Jealousy is a bitch. In my situation, my jealousy took over. Basically, the jealousy took over with my heart. And heart and jealousy don't mix. Because you get way too emotional. Especially as cancers. I'm a cancer. So, we get too emotional when that shit happens. You know, it builds on, builds on, builds on, builds on. So, that's what happens. But... Um, rule number two, how, what's rule number two, I forgot it, it was on top of my tongue, rule number two is cheating, cheating will fuck up your relationship in a fucking heartbeat, if you're thinking of lust with someone else, you might as well just be fucking single and not fuck with the person's heart, because my mama, matter of fact, my mama, my auntie, and my late and great grandfather told me this. He said, and I quote, don't play with a female's heart. Don't do that shit. Because most of us niggas out here, we playing with they fucking hearts, dog. You play with a female heart, you gonna get fucked in the end. On some real shit, you will get fucked over in the end. Because... I seen a lot of dudes play with a girl heart and them bitches come back to a nigga crib with a fucking knife and a 45 ready to shoot your ass for playing with them. They'll try to cut your dick off. For real, they will try to do that shit. I, I, I seen some bitches try to do that shit. My homies had to run from that shit. Bitches, bitches, bitches nowadays want to world star your ass. Yeah. For example, you seen that nigga on world star that got his ass beat by two bitches that he was cheating on with? Yeah. Got his ass beat with a belt, then got stomped out by two bitches. Damn, that couldn't be me, nigga. Mm-mm. Because once I got hit, Ike Turner would have came out on them bitches. But all females is not bitches, man. Remember that shit. They're not all bitches. Now, if it act like a hoe, and it talk like a hoe, it's a hoe. Remember that shit. But if it act like a lady, and cook like a lady, and talk like a lady, nigga, that's a fucking keeper, nigga. Shit. Shit, I wish I had a woman that could cook and clean for me. But that that's not in my life right now, you feel me? I gotta earn that, you know? That's God way of telling me, yo nigga, get your shit together and do you, you know? But another killer in a relationship. Facebook. Yup, the book. Instagram. That's number that's number four. Instagram and motherfucking Twitter number number five. Nigga, them three is like, if your ass ain't single, God, you can have all three of them, but you better not be flirting with no bitches. And another thing, I'm tired of y'all females. Like, I, on my Instagram, I have females that, a lot of females that's on my Instagram. You know, this is what I got to say about them. Why? Why? Why do y'all be taking them pictures? Like, you know you got a man at home, right? Why the fuck you taking pictures showing your ass, though? You know? Why the fuck you gonna do that? You feel me? Because you gonna end up... 
you gonna end up making niggas wanna fucking fuck you. And then, yo, so hubby see that shit, that nigga gonna load up the faux faux and go after every nigga that come to approach you when, he, when they see you in the streets. You feel me? Shit, some of y'all females need to, if you marry, if you happily married, you don't need Instagram. Only time you probably need Instagram is probably your watch your kids and shit. But anything else besides that shit, you don't need that shit. Shit, when I get married, happily married, I might delete my Instagram. Shit, Twitter especially. Twitter DM bitches bitches will wait until you leave your shit on the computer. Not all bitches, but hoes. Okay. Hoes and untrust untrustful ass females will leave that shit make basically if you leave your computer open and you ain't got no lock on it, you fuck. Put it that way, you fuck. I'm just gonna keep it real. You fuck, nigga. Shit. Back where I come from, nigga, I put a lock on my shit. I keep a lock on my phone. Well, I got two bad bitches on my phone. But, that's it. I keep lock on my phone. Shit. Ain't no girl going through my shit. Last time I let a girl go through my shit, it, it, it got real. Me and her was about to... Me and her was about to get it. I can see her. That's all it was about to be. But, all I'm saying is this, y'all. On surreal, be faithful to a woman, man. Don't play with their heart, and especially for y'all females, don't play with a nigga heart. Because you play with a nigga heart, that's like you playing with fucking fire. Your ass gonna get burned in the end, because he might fuck your best friend and your mama, depending on how he feeling. Or, or if the nigga nasty enough, he might fuck your grandmama. That shit nasty. Breezy out. Relationship problems. Volume 1. This is me. Breezy.